As we saw in the Mesonet report, some counties in Oklahoma are still seeing drought conditions. And as a result, some producers may have to make some tough decisions in the days and weeks ahead. For some guidance on making culling decisions for your herd, here's Dr. Dave Lawman. Culling early is better than waiting too late because what we're really trying to do is protect the forage resource and not overgraze. And so generally speaking, uh, if you need to cut back on numbers, you know, the, the most obvious animals uh, that probably should go to town are the opens. And so if, if the cattle haven't been pregnancy tested, it's time to do that. If you've got some cows either haven't calved or are not showing, contact your veterinarian. Uh, the other thing is that the veterinarians have access to uh, equipment, ultrasound in particular, where they can detect early uh, pregnancies. And so you may have a cow that doesn't look like she's going to calve at all, but they could tell you within, oh, 25 to 30 days if she's only been pregnant uh, that long, uh, you know, they can let you know that. So second on the list would probably be cows that are aging and having difficult time maintaining their body condition. You know, most of the time that's going to be related to uh, deterioration in their, in their teeth. And that also can be uh, detected rapidly, you know, just by asking a veterinarian to mouth those animals and see what kind of condition their teeth are in. You know, another thing high on the priority culling list would be cows with bad udders, particularly uh, long uh, balloon teats, because those females um, are, are a challenge for their babies to latch on to and get that colostrum early in their life. Now once you get down through uh, uh, the obvious problems, the open cows, the old cows, and the bad udders, then it gets more into, well, the performance, you know. Can you cull some of those females because uh, they haven't been as productive? Finally, uh, the last thing I would say is that while it would be a difficult decision for most people to make, those bred first calf heifers are really good candidates to market during a drought. Why? Well, because it's gonna take a long time for them to earn an income for you. Secondly, uh, they are the most susceptible to calving difficulty and calf death loss. They're the most difficult to get bred back this, this breeding season. While they do represent a lot of people's best genetics, most modern genetics and so on, they might be a good group to consider marketing to someone else that's got uh, uh, more uh, forage and maybe not in a, a drought situation. In the latest series of the Rancher's Lunchtime series, we covered several topics similar to this one, culling decisions, uh, related to drought. And so uh, be sure to check those out. There's some very, very helpful presentations recorded there.